Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of surviving. This is a card of overcoming something, protecting something. You could be fighting for someone or fighting for yourself here. Yeah, there's this defensive energy here. There's also an energy here of putting up boundaries. Um, it, you may, you or someone may feel like they need to protect something here. Yeah? They feel like the connection is th under threat or that there's competition and that they need to kind of fight for their, ter defend their territory here as well. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, Air Energy, the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Yeah, there's this feeling of wanting to protect what's yours. Um, there's a feeling you have someone who's holding on to you. They feel a bit... Uh, possessive with the four of pentacles you know they they really do treasure you they feel like um this connection is kind of slipping away from them this is what their mind is convincing them this could be you or them there's this feeling it's not clear who's feeling this way but there's that energy here with the nine of swords is this um energy of someone who is really ruminating um, this person is playing out the worst case scenario. They are scared. Um, they are feeling very anxious and they're suffering in silence. Yeah, this person could be keeping to themselves right now. They're not really letting it be known how they feel. Um, on the outside, they are looking very uh, calm, centered, grounded. But, you know, at this, they're losing sleep over this. This is definitely someone who is feeling like they could be outside competition when it comes to this connection. And, um, they feel very anxious. Even the Four of Pentacles, it's like it's bringing out their, their worst fears and insecurities, the situation here. Um, with the King of Pentacles, there is this energy of stability. It's like you're coming across as someone who, you know, is quite a catch. You know, you, you're stable. You have a lot to offer materially or you could be blessed abundantly. There's that kind of energy with the King of Pentacles. And so someone does see you as valuable. They see you as someone who... Um, you know, other people could want as well. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is, again, a lot of mental suffering, anguish. Yeah, someone is very entrapped by their thoughts. Um, they are thinking very negatively about the situation. They, they're, they're quite afraid here, and their thoughts is kind of like amplifying these fears. Um, this is someone who feels like they're powerless. They feel like they're a victim. They feel like they can't change the situation. They feel like they they don't have control over the situation. Their mind is convincing them of this. There's a lot of distorted thinking here with this card. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the World, Fixed Sign Energy, and the Ten of Cups, Water Energy. Someone is afraid that you may be having or finding love elsewhere. Like there's a new beginning that you're entertaining and that you may be done with them or you may have closed out the chapter or the cycle with you. Um, but this is someone who feels like, it's like they thought you were theirs. There's this feeling of having had hopes of having a Ten of Cups with you. But for whatever reason, you may have pulled back your energy or you and this person could just be not on speaking terms right now. But they they are 
afraid that you may be entertaining someone else. Um, this is someone who wants to offer you something here. With the Ace of Pentacles, they may want to offer you an apology or an explanation or a new beginning or an offer of commitment even. But they, they, they're they afraid, you know, with that Eight of Swords, there's something that holds this person back. You know, it's like they, they have this very jaded mindset and, you know, it's like even though they want to make an offer, they, they, they can't. It's like their mind is convincing them that they can't. So they're very restricted right now, but they, 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 they have high hopes. But at the same time, it's like it's, they're not making it obvious to you. It's like they're giving you nothing here with the Four of Pentacles. They're not making it clear that they actually feel this way. And you may even perceive this person as being done with you. Um, so there's this world card here. So you may also be opting to, to let this end, closing this out and looking at new offers, new opportunities here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Yeah, with this Gemini energy, I'm feeling like you and this person are actually feeling the same way. Um, it's almost like you guys are mirroring each other, but there's not enough communication. So a lot of assumptions going on here. You may be viewing this person as entertaining someone else or having a new beginning elsewhere. That's how they're viewing you too. You know, there's that feeling of two people who are suffering in silence here um, and really being in their head not really seeing something for what it is and it's because there's a lack of communication here you know that the the mind gets to run wild yeah because of that so it does look like there could be a missed opportunity because of this energy a lack of communication okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you sagittarius Okay, we have children your love life is being affected by children so someone could have children someone could have a family um, but there's also a feeling here of emotional immaturity as well it's like there's something about not being mature with how one handles the situation the person you're dealing with could be exceptionally good at sabotaging you know self-sabotaging their relationships with this eight of swords energy it's like they want something, but they're not going for it. They, you know, they're convincing themselves why they can't or why they shouldn't, you know. And so they, they don't take action and they, they miss out here. There's this feeling of almost missing out on something. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, um, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Daffodil, Rebirth and New Beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. So something could be coming to a close here with the world card. You know, it looks like someone might, may miss their chance because of their, you know, overthinking and negative mindset here. Um, there is a, a feeling of, regardless of whether it's with this person or not, you're, you've got a new beginning for you here with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and this is a situation where it looks like a lot of growth and learning has taken place. The world card does also show a lot of lessons here, leveling up. You know, there's something about it. The situation was very eye-opening for you. And you're ready for a new beginning. You know, it, it looks like there's something here about you rising above from a very difficult situation. It's like if you are currently in this Nine of Swords energy where you're losing sleep over something, that happened or something that you you're, you're confused about or don't understand it looks like you will be having a rebirth it's like you're going to rise above from that and come out a new version of yourself a better version of yourself because it's preparing you for a new beginning okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice um sagittarius
Okay, we have surrendered to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So there's a message about needing to focus on things that you can control. Um, there's something about um, you know, dealing with someone who could be quite frustrating. They may even be quite defensive with that seven of wands. So there's a message here of, you know, really um, prioritizing your peace. You know, if someone is robbing you of that or giving you mixed signals or frustration, um, there's something here about really cultivating peace and surrendering control in the situation as well. It's like focus on what you can control, not uh, what you can't. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.